Let's burn this place down with efficiency. Netcasts you love from people you trust. This is Twit. Video and audio bandwidth provided by Cashfly at c a c h e f l y dot com. Hello and welcome to OMG Craft. I am your host Chad Johnson. This is a show where we teach you how to become a Minecraft expert. Now everybody knows about. Furnaces in Minecraft. You put raw material in, and you get smelted items out. But the fuel you use to make this reaction happen can change. There are a lot of different types of fuels in game. Some are better than others. The most common is coal, but is it the best? Well. Here are all of the items that you can use as fuel in game. There are a few exceptions here, but I'm going to get to those over in that section. But you can see you can use saplings from wooden tools. Over here we have wooden pressure plates. These are wooden、uh, slabs, stairs, fence gates, and fences, bookshelves, even jute boxes and music note blocks. Here's a jute box. Here is a note block. Uh, this jukebox requires a diamond to create. So、uh, if you really need to smelt something, if you really need to furnish something, well, I guess if you are、uh, really in a pinch, you could use that. Even this nice daylight sensor. So all of these are useful. In fact, I've sort of arranged these in worst to best mode. Every time you smelt an item, it will always take ten seconds to smelt that item. So. Depending on how many seconds that this will keep your furnace uh, powered, uh, is how many items you can get through. So over here, you can get through about half an item,、uh, but as you move down, you get through more and more. Now,、uh, let's talk about wooden planks and wooden logs. Both,、uh, I have one of each in this hopper here, and I'm going to use the hopper tool. To start both of these furnaces at once, and you would think that because the log is a log, that its fire down here, this fuel level, would last longer than the plank, because of course we know we get four planks from a single log. But as you can tell, that actually isn't true. The log will be used just as fast as the plank. So if you're going for efficiency, make sure you. Always switch your logs into planks before throwing them into a furnace. You get four times the efficiency out of them. Now, these aren't the most efficient items in game. In fact, with logs, we have a few logs in this hopper up here, and some coal down here. If you go ahead and turn those logs into charcoal, charcoal will actually make around. 69 seconds of fuel. That's、uh, this right here. See this flame going down? It'll, it'll that flame will last for around 69 seconds.、Um, but with just plain old、uh, log or even these, it will only last for 60 seconds. So you actually, it is more efficient, even with calculating for the wood cost of burning your、uh, oak logs. This is more efficient. So. Make sure that you transfer your logs into charcoal if you really want to go the log route. And I like the log route. I like I like using logs for my fuel because trees can grow anywhere and infinite amounts. Now let's talk a little bit about coal. And I want to reiterate that every item you smelt ever will take ten seconds to smelt. A normal piece of coal will last for around 80 seconds, which, if you do the math, is pretty easy. That's eight items. Eight items will be made per coal. But coal can be made into something very interesting, which is the coal block. This coal block here is not just used for decoration, because when you craft it into、uh, your normal crafting table in a nine by nine, how most blocks are made. This coal block will last for 800 seconds, which means that if you're really doing the math, it should take 10 coal pieces to make this block. But really, it only takes nine. 
So it's much more efficient if you turn your coal into these coal blocks. Finally, there is the lava bucket. This lava bucket, when you put it into a furnace, it will consume the lava, leaving a bucket, and this will allow you to make 100 items per lava bucket. But of course, lava is a little bit difficult to get. But I know what you're thinking. Chad, I can only put 64 items into a furnace. That's a full stack. If, if my fuel will last for 80 items or 100 items, if I put those items in and walk away, I will just be wasting fuel. I, I need to come back and refill the furnace at some point. Well, let me show you an automatic furnace setup so that you don't have to worry at all. But before I do, Amazon.com. You already know the price, selection, and convenience of Amazon.com, and now you can help support Twit with your Amazon purchases. It's easy. Just click through the Amazon banner at twit.tv slash Amazon and shop as normal. It's simple as that. It costs you nothing extra, and anything you purchase helps keep the lights on at the brick house. Now, whatever you buy, make sure to click through the Amazon banner at twit.tv slash Amazon. It's easy to support Twit that way, and you can also bookmark the page and click through every single link, every single time you shop at Amazon. Uh, that way you never forget. There's even links there for Amazon UK and Canada. Once again, that's twit.tv slash Amazon, and thank you for your support of this show. So, now you can use hoppers in-game to use a configuration to keep feeding items, even fuel, into your furnace. What you need here is pretty simple. You just need three item hoppers, and if you want three chests, the chests, uh, you really only need one chest for your output. Um, uh, in fact, you don't even need that if you're, if you're content with the item uh, hopper inventory. But other than that, here's what we're gonna do. First, start off by putting a chest down here. This is where your smelted items are going to come out. Add a hopper to the side of it, and it's good to note that if you just put a hopper down like right here, see how the bottom here is not connected to the uh, chest right here? If you actually shift and click the chest, then it is connected there at the bottom. Now go ahead and add your furnace in the middle. The furnace needs fuel, so that's what we're gonna add next is a hopper over on the side. Let's make a chest where we can place our fuel. Finally, let's put a hopper on the top for the items that will be added to this furnace. And finally, we will put a chest on top of that hopper so that items can be pulled, so we can put items to be smelted in. So once again, that's smelted items in, smelted items out, fuel over here on the side. So let's go ahead and add a few items to be smelted. I have some iron ore here. You can see that they're being sucked up into the top of this furnace. And we're not gonna do anything with output yet, and let's go ahead and throw a lava bucket in and a few uh, coal blocks. Now, here we are. You can see that the lava bucket went in and it filled up and it already went ahead and started this fire here. This fire will last for a long time because we used a lava bucket. And this setup even removed the bucket so that we can use it later and has already pulled out an iron ingot for us to use. This is a really simple setup and a great way to keep all of your stuff moving along. Now, it is good to note that you do not get XP when you use hoppers to grab items out of a furnace. Normally, when you smelt something up, uh, you'll get XP out of it, but if the if the hopper pulls it out, sorry, that is lost. I hope that you have found this furnace tip helpful for all of your Minecraft adventures. If you have more tips that you would like to send our way, feel free to send us some feedback. Email us at mail at omgcraft.com. We're also on Twitter, so follow us at omgcraftshow, and be sure to subscribe. You can head on over to twit.tv slash omgcraft, and there's links to everything, iTunes, YouTube, absolutely everything. Thank you so much for watching this episode of OMG Craft. I will see you next time.